Good morning again, everybody. Welcome back to Lily Lulu. My name's Karen. I'm the Junk Journal Geek. If you haven't been here before, welcome. I hope you like what you see. And if you're a returning visitor, thank you very much for coming back and joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Sorry about the bang. That's Max with his bone. So I'm carrying on with this um, tab bound journal booklet. I don't know what you'd call it that we're making. Um, this is my design team project for Sunny Creates. The kit is her spring garden kit and I am replicating um, a project made by Carol Laws and I'll leave all the links to all those things in the description. So today I'm going to make um, what is going to be a little envelope pocket in the booklet. Um, and I have made these before with you, but we're going to do it again today. So I need to cut down this envelope so that it's not, it's, um, it will fit in the journal. These have all been under the, under a couple of books overnight. So they're all nice and flat now. Um, so yeah, we can get on with it. So first thing I need to do is chop a little bit off here. As I say, the all of these um, are four inches wide. So this needs to be less than four inches. So you can see it's literally just a little sliver I'm going to take off. So I'll just grab my chompy chopper and do that. I'll be back in a moment. Right, so I've cut that down to about three and three quarters of an inch. And I want to fold it up so that it is no more than seven inches tall. So that means I'm going to fold it about there. And then that should fit within these. That's okay. So let's just give that... of a burnish um, and then obviously we need to cover this um, sorry for reaching across here I've got all my papers in front of me I need to cover this to make it look pretty so just I might go with this um, Collage piece, I think that looks quite nice. So just working out how big that needs to be. So if that's going on there, um, I'm going to do it a little bit wider because. I can wrap it round then inside and protect this. This is going to be a pocket, so that will protect that if I tuck it inside. That's my theory. Normal fingers and thumbs this morning. I've woken up with a fuzzy head this morning, and I'm all. No, I can't even pick my ruler up. <laughs> All fingers and thumbs. So if we just go slightly beyond that. So how are you all this morning? I hope you're all well and happy. And then that is going to come down there. I want to keep this watering can intact if I can. If I tear that there, that pocket's going to hide the bottom of that, so that's okay. So let's rip that off there. And somebody is moving upstairs. I can't see where I folded it now. Oh, there it is. And let's attempt to get it in a straight line. So keep that 
piece. I've got this one here with my new glue. I managed to get new glue yesterday while I was out shopping. Max, be quiet. Max can hear people moving upstairs. So he's wondering why they haven't come straight downstairs to talk to him. Rude Max, aren't they? Right, let's just oh, grab something to lean on there. I don't want to get a sticky board. And what I did forget to do was to ink this envelope up first in case any white bits end up showing. Um, I haven't inked anything on this in this yet. And I didn't know if I was going to or not, but it's always worth inking these envelopes when you're using them, just in case you still get any white bits showing. Um, and I think, so I'll just tuck that piece in there and it would just help to protect let me just match in that corner except I've gone over the edge there that's not good yeah if we just tuck that in there that will help protect the edge of the pocket when we're popping things in and out. So oops gone off camera haven't I sorry. A sip of tea. Right let's get that down then. Filming this the day after I filmed the first section. Again, it's very early in the morning. Max, quiet. A horrible edge there. I've gone over slightly there. I'll worry about that later. Right, so then we need to cover this part, which I thought I'd use this for. Um, but. really needs doubling over because it's going to be too flimsy on it's like ah now I saved the little bits I snipped off when I was I think that will be too thick but if I pull that off I can pop that on there and that will just strengthen that edge a little bit just because that's um you know, it's a single sheet of copy paper. It's not man enough to be a pocket without a little bit of support. We all need a little bit of support from time to time, don't we? And I think I am going to ink these very slightly. These edges. Let's go around this envelope and sort these edges out. And that's going to be another little pocket, that piece. Um, let's get Max, leave it. Now he's trying to get the birds. So that top bit might need a little bit of a slice taken off. Um, so I've gone a little bit too high there. But, right, so that should sort out any white edges. Um, now, if I pop that on there, is that going to work? Will that protect that enough? No, because it, it's going to cap as you put things in this pocket. If you imagine if this is sticking up there when I put things in that pocket it's going to catch on that lip underneath but I wanted that watering can on there so 
we'll just forget that for a moment and I'll tell you where I can stick the watering can. I may be able to pop it on that little, no, it's too big. Leave the watering can, Karen. Step away from the watering can. Right, let's use one of the um, backing papers. Oh, I know what I could use. I think I'll need these too big. Where's the pages with the form on? Sorry, I, I know I'm faffing, and I know I always faff when I'm doing this sort of thing. Um, but I find it helpful to see people, you know, working through these things. So I'm hoping that you all do too. enough it is but no that's going to look silly so we'll forget that idea we need a backing page one of the pattern pages i think is what we need so i'm just on these forward and you can see what i'm doing i'm just looking for one of the patterned pages there we go for some th oh really we should use that page then gin where is it where is it hello page where are you oh I'm really am fingers and thumbs this morning aren't I right let's get those out of the way and let's make a pocket with this and if I do it that way We'll sort of match in. How deep do we want it? About there, I think. So let's go about there. double edge and so there'll be no catching when we put things in I need to straighten that fold up and that needs to come off there. I don't lift my glue stick as I'm applying it to the paper if I get stuck the paper sticks to it and it goes everywhere I see other people on YouTube just their, their glue stick just glides over their paper I make it look so simple but not me right I'm trying to get this right into the corner folded edge there. It's too far into the corner. I don't want it to interfere with that fold, you see. And the same on this side. I've gone wonky. Oh my goodness. 
goodness me. Maybe I should have stuck one side at a time. That might have been a good idea, might not it? Now, the inside that you're not going to see is much neater than the outside that you are going to see. Still, we're going to have things in pockets and what have you, so it'll be all right. We don't need to faff too much. So that's that bit done. So let's just pop a little bit of all the way around. A little bit of ink along there. And then that's it. Going that way. And then we need a little piece to cover this little corner tuck here. So what we're going to use for that. I did have some those extra papers that I ripped off. I wonder if I have these big enough for that. They're all too small. Max, what are you doing? That's just too small. These are wide enough. These ones are wide enough, but I feel like they could actually be tags or something, so I don't want to use those. Um, what other little bits and pieces have I got lying around here? I haven't got many bits and pieces yet because we've only just started um, working on this, haven't we? Right, can't fit the um, watering can on, but I could maybe pop this bit on the other side. I could do that, couldn't I? Oh, I don't know how I managed to do that so badly. Right, I'm feeling like this was a mistake this morning, trying to film the video. Where are those... Maybe one of those circles would be a good idea. I can cut something out from that. That's all the backing sheets, isn't it? Just put all them together. Oh dear. Right, if I get one of these, is that wide enough to go on there? Let's do a rough cut. Let's do the one with the little birdie house on it. a little bit of it. Okay, let's have a go at this. Let's see if I can do this without messing it up. I'm just gluing that little... I've put glue on there. Now let's make sure we get it the right way up. It's going to go there. So it needs, this is the right way up. So I'm just popping my circle in on, trying to position it so that I've, I'm covering this and I'm, I'm holding it up so I can see daylight behind it. I know you can't see exactly what I'm doing. No, that's not gonna work. The birdie's gonna come off. So let's use that one with lots of flowers.
Sorry about this, folks. Hope it's not too painful. Right, so I'm going to pop that. I've got that on there. And I'm going to trim around the edge. And I'll need to step up in a minute. And then can I rip this piece off? Is it too tiny? Just because I've got the other edges ripped, I want to see if I can keep it the same, but and our tucks so right just bear with me a moment right sorry about that I thought there was someone um, coming but they weren't so right so now I need to cover the back of this um, so I think I'll use the same paper if I have enough. Um, if I'd have thought about this, I could have done the whole thing at once and it would have looked neater, but I didn't think of it, so I didn't do it. And now I can hear somebody. Typical. Um, right, where's my pop? My pocket's going to be there. So, again, I want to go a little bit wider to tuck it in. Um, just to protect that edge. So let's try and rip it on a straight line. Oh. over and go on the inside to protect that pocket edge so if we tuck that in there on there and tuck those bits in there. Right, let's get that glued down then.
really feel like I'm making a meal of this again this morning. I'm looking forward to when I can just go back to filming at a reasonable time. Um, I'm not a morning person, although I wake up in the morning quite happily. I never used to. When I was younger, I'd be awful in the mornings, really grumpy. But I don't know if that was mornings or the fact that I had to go to work. <laughs> um, but I wake up fine in the morning now, but I just feel like my brain is not in gear in the mornings. I don't think I'm at my best in the mornings. Um, <clears throat> and so I think I'm struggling a little bit with these videos. I feel a bit faffy all the time. Um... And again, that's slightly longer than it needed to be. So I do appreciate those of you who are bearing with me at the moment. Um, not that I'm, I feel like I'm brilliant at crafting and doing videos at the best of times, but I definitely am not at my best filming at first thing in the morning, for sure. So I appreciate you all bearing with me. So let's ink that bottom edge. And around here, just to hide any white that might be showing. And so this will be obviously sealed down. Um, this will be a pocket. I think, if I remember rightly, I think Carol wrapped that around into the pocket to give her a bit more real estate in this pocket, but I didn't think to do that. <clears throat> but anyway, that will be a page somewhere in here when we go through. So it'll be bloody, 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 bloody pocket, pocket, pocket. Bloody, 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 as we go along, and that's that, that's a real word. Bloody, bloody, bloody. It is in my world anyway. Right. So, can I stick this pocket down now? I'm I'm hesitating because I don't want to do something wrong. Um. Then we need to make a little booklet to go in there, and. I think Carol put a tuck spot on the back at the bottom of hers. So let me just pause you a moment while I find what I'm going to use for the next part. Right, I'm back again. <laughs> I, th I thought I'll try and work out exactly what I need and what I'm doing so that I don't faff as much in the next part. And I realised I needed some papers printed on both sides. So I put a couple of the sheets that I've just shown you, or I showed you yesterday, back in the printer to print the other side. And of course, the printer went wonky and jammed and I had to sort all that out, reprint the papers. <laughs> anyway, um, when Carol made the next part, she made a little booklet to go in this pocket of this we've just made. And she used book page. So I thought, oh, I've got some... Um, books that are sort of spring garden type things I'll use something like that this is lovely but it's the pages are not big enough and that's this is not really the pages are not really suitable looks like you have come down a bit while I've left you I'm just going to move the arm of my camera up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing a bit better this one is quite nice um, and I think it's wide enough. Let's have a look. Although Carol did join two pages together. Um, yeah, they might just be wide enough. Might be able to do that. Um, and I thought that if we went to June, because I'm filming this um, right at the beginning of June, it would be appropriate. And in here, 
there's Downland Orchids, which is quite a nice page. Um, and obviously I live near the Downs, so that's appropriate. That's quite pretty. And I thought there was something on here that said spring when I was flicking through. Don't really want seasidey ones, although I'm planning to do a seasidey journal soon. So it'll be I must remember that there's those pages. Oh here we are. Spring butterflies. I was wondering if that would make um just wondering what would be visible. It's gonna be a pocket and a little booklet. Um, and then, of course, we've got the Edith Holden. Um, I'm not sure how hard these pages are. This just happens to be opening at... Yeah, these pages are not really wide enough. And I think they're a bit too yellow. Although, looking at it with this now, they probably would be fine. Um, but they're not quite wide enough. So, I think I'm going to try and do it with this page. And if it goes wrong, I will redo this little bit of the video and you'll never know. <laughs> and I feel like it's it might go wrong because everything is this morning. But hey-ho, it's just the way it goes sometimes, isn't it? Right, trying to get my knife in here to try and release this page. I'm sure there are butterflies in this kit so um, I think a page of spring butterflies is quite appropriate this book I didn't show you did I properly what it is it's a nature yearbook if you want to look for it Where's the details? Does it have, oh, there's the details. If you wanted to try and look for this yourself, you can take a screenshot of those details now and have a hunt for it. I've had this book, I don't know how long and I don't know where I got it from. It could be just an old book of mine. It may have come from a charity shop, I can't remember. So we're going to try and use this page now I'm just trying to work out how much I need to amend this to fit what I'm doing so I want that to be my outs this one as is my outside cover so this is going to be the inside so I need to score, oh, I don't know. Look, I've left my knife there open, no cover on it. You just know that's asking for trouble, don't you? That way, scoreboard, sorry, I'm banging about. It's probably making a horrible noise. Right, I'm, I'm going to be sort of working this out as I go, I think. I'm going to score, it's about a half, no it's not, it's about a quarter of an inch there and this is going to be the closure part of my pocket. Now my pocket needs to be about I think it was three and an eighth I worked it out to fit in there. So that will be one, two, three, and an eighth. I think that will be there. That's That seems very narrow. That's because I've only done it at two and an eighth. <laughs> 
miss me. I've spot me outside now. Never mind. Right, let's try again. Let's try counting, Karen. One, two, three. And an eight. Yes, there. That's a bit better. So that will be my pocket. Like that. So that will be glued. Oops, sorry, I'm not on screen, am I? That will be glued there to make a pocket. And then this bit is going to flip over. So if I score that, I'm just going to go... Where am I scoring? Because you probably can't see this. One and a half, so that's one and five eighths there. Even when I thought, thought this all through first, I'm still making a bit of a meal of it, aren't I? So that's going to fold there. So, um, So in here is going to be a little booklet sewn in there. This part is going to be a pocket. I have done that right, haven't I? Yes. So I need a little notch up here for my thumb hole. I can't believe I creased that in the wrong place after all that. I'm trying to work it all out before I've started the camera back up. And I've still gone wrong. So that's going to close there. And that's going to flip over there. And we've got spring butterflies. So that one's called green hair streak. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Okay, so can I close this up now or am I going to make a mess of it? I think I can close this up, but I need to remember to put a little hinge on here this time so that I have a bit more space in my pocket. So I've got a bit of scrap paper here. So if I tear that to that length and fold this in half and that gives me it's not a hinge is it what's the word I'm looking for and I'm just going to angle that slightly I always want to do it the wrong way just to um... yeah that can go on there so I think let's get these books out of the way a little bit of stronger ink I think because this is um, this paper's a bit shiny so I'm going to use my um, glitter glue for this which I also don't have much left of and I need to buy more. And I've been saying that for about at least a couple of months and I still haven't bought it, but it's still there, still hanging on, still lasting. So, right, so I'm lining that up with the bottom edge of what is going to be my pocket. Oops. Off. Then let's angle that one as well. So now I'm going to stick that, and I angled that a bit far, but and I'm going to stick that, and I'm going to put just a touch of ink along here. Let's 
close that pocket up there. I hope you're all following this and I'm not making, um, you know, just making you completely confused with what I'm doing. But as I said before, I am linking Carol's videos um, in the description so you can go and see somebody a bit more talented than me. do this properly right so we've closed that down I'm just going to pop the lids on these glues before they ooze everywhere Right, so we've got that stuck down as a pocket and that is a bit wrinkled but I'm, oh I've got glue all over it now. I'm hoping that that will um, disappear. Oh. I've got glue all over my hands and I'm making my pocket dirty so we'll either do try and rub that off and if it won't come off we'll have to add a bit of extra decoration that's my pocket now we've got another tricky bit here we're going to make a little notebook to tuck in there but it's like a waterfall so you see all the pages so this flap is One and a half. I'm wondering whether to take a little bit off of that so I've got a bit more room here for what I'm doing. Um, let's think about this. That is one and one, two, three, four, five eighths. I'm just trying to think um, right I'm just going to take off the edge of that because it will give me a bit more room to play with right I think I know what I'm doing now um, I've just trimmed a little bit off of there so it's it's just under one and a quarter inches. This flap is just under one and a quarter inches. So I'm going to take my first sheet of paper. I want to do it that way. And I'm going to score two inches in from this edge. me to get this where you can see it but I'm just scoring there at two inches and I'm going to fold that there and then my second sheet of paper I'm going to score at two and three eighths I think I have worked this out. <laughs> um, so that's two and one, two, three eighths. Folding that over on that score line. So 
so that goes like that and then this second piece of paper I'm going to cut at two and six eighths so that will be one two here So that will be cut off there and then the back piece of paper which was my first sheet I am cutting at three and one eighth I think it was three and one eighth because I think this is just slightly more than three and one eighth so I'm just going to cut these two sheets and then I'll be back Right, so I've cut those at the points that I said. And actually, I'm gonna fold this one the other way because I wanted more contrast. So that's going to go like that now, that's better. Although I have accidentally printed the Harlequin on both sides. It was supposed to be the other way around because I had that problem with my printer. It's thrown me a bit, but that, that looks okay. I can live with that. Although I could also, thinking about it, oh no, because that will be upside down then. I can't do that. No, ignore me, I'm talking rubbish. So now I have to cut this to the right size Height-wise, so I'm just going to go and snip the bottom off there. Right, I've done that, so that will now fit in there. I'm sorry this is all stop, start, stop, start, um, but I can't get all of these things under the camera. So now I need to stitch down here to stitch my little notebook in. So I'm going to do that on the machine. So again, I'll be back in a moment. Back again. <laughs> right, so I've just stitched those pages in. So that's how they look now. And I've got my pocket at the back. I won't make you watch. <laughs> you must all be in pain. <laughs> watch me today mind you I do say that quite often but just to give you an idea let's grab one of these leftover bits that will be you know there'll be something in the back there and then this sits and I, I forgot that I'd glued this off camera so I did close this pocket up off camera that will go in there even Max is crying at the pain of it all so that will go in there. So we got there in the end. Um, I do encourage you to go and watch Carol's videos. Um, I've This has now taken me two videos to do what she did in just one. <laughs> so um, well done if you're bearing with me. So then I will obviously find something to go in there. I need to find something to go in. I've lost it. <laughs> oh yeah, this pocket here that we've just made. Um, in here we probably will add some bits on there um, I need to seal this part up I haven't done that yet um, and then we'll need something to go in there and we'll need to decorate the back there I think Carol put a little um, tuck spot on the back there so we might do something like that but that's how we're looking today I think I could have done a better job with these papers um, and make them look better but I do think that looks quite pretty you know what we've done there so far and as I say when we've tucked extra bits in here and there um, it will look even better so if you have made it to the end thank you so much for your patience today for bearing with me while I worked all that out um, it, it seems even when I've you know gone away and planned what I think I'm doing I still seem to struggle but um, I'm sure I'm not alone. So that's going to be somewhere 
in there. I don't know where that's going to go yet, but that's how it's looking so far. The only thing I wish I had done, actually, I wish I'd thought to stitch around um, this piece. Um, I wish I'd opened the, pop the, the envelope up completely, covered it and stitched it all before I started making the pocket. But I hopefully will know next time. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you did find some sort of inspiration from that, even if it's how not to do something. And I will be back again with you all in another few days. Thanks for joining me. Take care and enjoy your own crafty time. Bye bye.